Hello, beautiful family. I'm here today to talk about money wounds with you. Yep. And it's coming from the super raw and real space of my own triggers and the triggers that I've been experiencing within my one-on-one -on -one clients. And then also I did something really fun this week, which was adding a sticker in my story and allowed people to respond to a specific question and then I offered free coaching on that specific question. And so much of what came up was about money wounds because this topic is really alive right now. Um, obviously it's alive for me and the people who are in my reality that I'm serving and supporting right now, but it's also really alive for you, I am sure. And so let me know in the comments or maybe like flutter some hearts my way if you're seeing your money wounds come up right now. Yeah. Money wounds are alive in the collective. And this, of course, is totally connected to the, you know, global economical climate right now. Like we're in a, a reset. And there's a lot taking place um, globally with the economy and the ways in which it's been stimulated and eh, like messed with and the stocks and all the things like there's so much money going on in the world as a whole, but also in our individual lives. And when we're talking about money, I think it's important to first address the fact that money is a resource that we all need to sustain our lives. Like we're in a day and age where for you to even sit here and receive a conversation like this, which has the potential to dramatically change your life, you need money. In order to clothe, clothe yourself, you need money. In order to be able to spend money on your care and having providers to care for you, you need money. So money is a foundational resource that we all need in this life, right? So we understand that. And with that, there's so much wounding and scarcity around that. And if we really want to experience lives that are well healed, that are well resourced, we have to bring medicine to our money wounds. I'm gonna keep this concise. And I wanna begin with a story. So this morning I woke up feeling like a goddess rising, doing my thing, and I came to my body and I desired a yoni steam. So I got my, my yoni throne all put together and I got certain herbs that intuitively felt good for my body to receive and I made a steam. And as I'm sitting on this steam, you know, if you've ever done yoni steaming, essentially what it does is it releases the tension in the pelvic floor and like the gelat, like gelatious energy that gets stuck in our hips when we're holding on to tension it releases that and it softens. And so therefore, all the tension that's like present in our pelvic floor and our hips gets released. And if we want to release tension, if we want to release pain points or emotional points in our body, we can't just like, bloop, okay, they're gone. We can't just steam them out, right? We have to feel them. And so as I'm sitting here steaming, shit was coming up that I had to feel. And it was very much centered around money wounds. And certain dynamics in my reality with money that are ready to be cleared and healed and this specifically pertains to my work and like the up levels that i'm being called forth into that is requiring me to change things right and oftentimes when we're changing um, aspects of our life that are related to money and all the little things get like poked at and prodded at right so this was my process and as i started to walk the story of like okay this is what i'm feeling right now in my body and in my life okay following that thread where is this stemming from what picture is this scarcity or this wound trying to create and following that thread following that thread following that thread there was no way to find resolution and that's my story today there was no fight there is no finite way to heal our money wounds except for showing up in our reality and being fully present with them, right? And so this is where we're gonna shift this conversation to actually talking about how do we heal our money wounds from this space. So yeah, you can't meditate your money wounds away. You can't 
deeply take relaxing breaths and that will heal your nervous system's relationship to money. No, you have to move that energy. If you have certain things you've experienced in your life that have cultivated scarcity and wounding as it relates to money, you have to move that energy. You can't stay in a dynamic with money and breathe and meditate your way out of it. You have to bring yourself forward to that wound and first feel it. This is the intimidating factor because for most of us, we want to either pretend like everything's really fucking peachy and keen and like we're Gucci with our money or we want to over exaggerate the deprivation and the like lack of money in our lives, right? So there's, we tend to be on like one side of the spectrum and what we need to do is just be raw and authentic with ourselves about what's really taking place in our bodies and our minds and our spirits as it relates to money. And for me, what this looked like this morning is when I got off my uni freaking throne and steaming and that was complete, I felt it all. I cried to the point where I was hyperventilating. I allowed my body to shake. I allowed my, my voice to curl from the depths of my gut and release the frustration and anger I was feeling about money. I allowed myself to lay on the fucking earth and collapse. I allowed myself to feel it all. And this is something that is such a principle in my life and the way that I work with my clients and the way that I just live my life is like, you have to feel it, right? Like we can't semi feel it. We can't only feel like a little side of it or like half of it. We have to feel all of it and we, can't skip over anything like every single piece of it needs to be addressed so when your money wounds come up or if like you're setting aside devotional space to work through your money wounds you follow the threads so first you notice okay this is how i'm feeling about money right now i'm about to look at my bank account and maybe you're feeling scared thankfully like that's not something i move through anymore and that i'm super proud of like i love looking at my bank account and like it's taken work for me to get there um, but that wasn't always the case so that's a really easy one that a lot of us can relate to is like looking at our bank account so say for instance you like you have to look at your bank account you have to pay bills and you start to notice that edge turn on in your body and you're like Ugh, like I don't want to do that start with that feeling go there feel that intensity feel yourself concave let it like Oh, go deeper into the stomach, into the heart, into your womb, and just feel your somatic experience of how that wound is showing up. And like follow the threads, right? So if it's here, okay, what's here? Oh, is this relating to having to pay this bill? Or is this relating to something much deeper that's like a dynamic of your life as a whole, like not feeling honored, you know, not feeling like you're making mo the money that you should for the work that you're doing, or you hate your job, and then you're also not satisfied with money. So like following the threads to find the nuances and discover the story that your body is saying and your body's experiencing around that wound, specifically with money. And essentially what you want to look for is like those charged places, like the places where it's like, <laughs> or, or like no like the super emotionally charged places go there and feel that and through expressing and viscerally feeling it you are unlocking that story from your body so there's a principle that i i live off of again and that i work from which is your body will hold on to that which you're not ready to feel until you're ready to feel it and so when you come to your body you come to your somatic experience in this way and you're feeling it and you're being present with it it's communicating okay i'm ready to feel this so the stories from our childhood the dynamics of like our ancestors like i've done money work that goes 70 generations back like with my ancestors like having to unveil layers that are so fucking deep in my dna having to go all the way back so really you can take this like money wound work as deep as you want there's so much work to do because so many of our ancestors experienced horrible poverty and horrible slavery as well so there's a lot of work here and so this is of course like really tender work but feel it all it needs to be felt so that it can break through and 
you have to break down in order to break through. So today, I fucking broke down. Like, yeah, I had things to do and people to talk to, but no. Like, I decided to take that time. And that's another piece of the medicine with healing our money wounds is, like, that presence. Like, when we are present with the nature of the wounds that are running in our lives and coursing through our lives, they get to transition because these triggers are teachers. So when we get triggered and that wound comes up, it's not here to necessarily like solidify the story, right? It's here to say, hey, this is the story I'm carrying on to. Let's change it, right? And so when you're present, when you're somatically releasing, when you're allowing yourself to be emotionally charged and activated and express the story, then transformation can occur. That transformation piece is going to be different for all of us depending on what we're experiencing and what we want to bring, you know, on the other side of this. So say, for instance, if you're feeling hopeless with money, then as you get to that core space and you'll know when that is, maybe it's like, eight minutes in maybe it's 12 minutes in maybe it's like an hour in maybe it's a fucking week in who knows these things will take as long as they need to to be alchemized but when that space comes where you're like ah, okay i can breathe deeper my system's settling then you get to listen to what this is teaching you so for me this morning and um also for like two of my one-on-one clients and like four or five of the women that I've been talking to in my DMs um, related to this like coaching experiment that I've been doing, you know, what was coming up is like, I'm having to be radically present with my desires around money and that's scary, right? And so that's where the scarcity is coming from. It's like, okay, I want this, I want this thing, I want this much money or I want this job, And that's requiring me to change the way I'm relating with life. So I'm having to turn down things in my life that are not that. I'm having to say no to opportunities that do bring me money, but it's not what I want. Or I'm having to quit this job in order to like make space in my nervous system to receive my career that I really want. So oftentimes these feelings are trying to teach us something. And that space, that, that limbo space is where we get to ask what are, you, what are you trying to teach me, pain? Suffering, scarcity, what are you trying to teach me? And through that cultivation of listening, that's where the alchemy begins to take place. And this is what we want in order to actually heal the money wound. And typically, not limited to, but typically, that is an act of self-honor. So the beauty of it, The self-honor is an action that we get to take that is the energetic exchange for what we want to receive. So if you want to receive $100,000, you know, doing something that you love, you can't, I mean, you can, but like, if your body is trying to teach you about like, how devoted are you to this um, experience of receiving $100,000 for great work and working great people or whatever it is not an integrity to take three thousand dollars from somebody that does not feel alive because what is that saying to the internal system what is that saying to your psyche and what you're ready to receive is a reality where you're cutting yourself short where you're overriding your desires and you're taking what you can while you can and for a lot of us that we don't want to live in that reality anymore we want to receive what fucking nourishes us what electrifies us what helps us break these cycles and break these wounds so oftentimes there's an action that you have to take in order to solidify the transformation that this wound is trying to teach you so it's this journey of like viscerally feeling and experiencing and like somatically expressing the pain, the trauma, the fucking anger, the frustration that we're feeling around money. And then we get to listen and we get to ask, what are you teaching me? And then lastly, we get to take action that says, okay, I learned this lesson and I'm integrating this and my reality by taking this course of action. And a lot of times that little last part is the hardest, right? Depending on what this wound is trying to teach you. Sometimes that action requires you to 
do something that's extremely brave or something that's extremely scary. And let me tell you, those are the places where your millions live. Those are the places where your hundreds of thousands of dollars live. Those are the places where your dream house lives. Those are the places where your fucking sexy lover lives is when you take actions that radically change your reality. And you hold yourself through that because you have faith that your desires are also desiring you. Okay. So your money wounds need your medicine. Your money wounds need you to feel them. Feel them all the way through because they're coming up so that transformation can take place. How this feels for you. If this was like super electrifying for you, please send me a private message and like let me know why and how. And I also want to invite you all like I got space to work with me. You know, like if this is something that you don't want to do alone, hire a mentor. There is so much magic in medicine and hiring support in your lives. And that's one of the biggest amplifiers that you can take. So, alrighty, lovies. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick conversation. It is from the depths of my heart that I offer it to you. And may we all, may we all give ourselves permission to feel everything that is arriving in our bodies during these transformative times. And may we remember that it's all here for us. All right. I humbly bow to each and every one of you. Namaste.